Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Teddy Karimba. Thank you so much for tuning in again today. So if you haven't already subscribed, baby, what are you doing? You can see from the title and this beautiful face that I'm about to plug you, okay? So please, do the right thing. Click the subscribe button down below and become a part of this family to everyone else returning. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be plugging you okay you guys know like i've got your back i've got your back i've got your best interests in mind so in today's video i'm gonna be plugging you with two things first of all i'm going to be showing you how to get a flawless makeup base literally that takes you 10 minutes and i know that a lot of people have a lot going on they don't really have time for much trust me 10 minutes 10 minutes if you're a beginner i'll even say 15 because that is how simple and easy and fast everything is and of course the second thing that i'm going to be doing in this video is i'm actually going to be reviewing some black opal products so you guys can also see how everything performs and whether it's worth your bank or not i mean looking at my face right now what do you think? And of course, this video is in partnership with my faves over at Renako Connect. Renako Connect is a blog that provides lots of information and reviews on different products in different areas. For example, we have some beauty, we have some hair. Feel free to check them out. You'll find lots of different product reviews there. And of course, one of the main things that we love to do over there is just check out products by African people, by black people, so that you guys can also know if it's worth your money, where you can find it, all of that great stuff just plugging you on the goodness all the goodness that this african continent and of course the rest of the world has to offer so if you want to know more about what they do the reviews that we have on there then click the link down below and check out Renako connect anyway we're gonna get straight into this video okay so before we get started i am wearing a bandeau don't worry <laughs> okay cool so let's get right into this the first thing that you need to do to have a flawless base is prepare your skin you can't put on makeup without preparing your skin don't don't do that thing it's an abomination don't do it okay to prep your skin you need to do two things first you need to moisturize second you need to prime so i'm going in with my moisturizer okay this was supposed to be cute but i guess that's not happening <laughs> I feel great already. I love moisturizing my skin. Okay, so the next part of step one is to prime. Okay, so we are trying a new primer today and this is the Black Opal Invisible Oil Blocking Gel Primer. This is what it looks like. There you go. Okay, so this is my first time using this primer so of course this is going to be a wear test i was gonna say taste test then i remembered we're not cooking so i'm just like teddy say anyway okay so this is like a silicone primer can y'all see that please focus jeez oh my gosh y'all The crazy thing is, all my other fingers are focusing, but this one. Anyway, I'm sure you guys get the gist of it. Um, it's a gel. Love that. This feels like, yeah, it's a silicone primer, which is great. So I'm just applying that all over my face. Okay, skin's looking good. Skin is looking supple. Oh, skin is looking amazing. So now that step one is done and you know, the skin is looking juicy, we're gonna move on to step two, which is foundation, okay? You can use whatever foundation you have with you. The whole point of all of this is just to make sure that, you know, you follow my steps so you can also get flawless makeup like me. So we're trying a new product again. And this is the Black Opal True Color 
foundation stick and I got the shade amber because of COVID obviously stores don't have testers and all of that so I couldn't actually check my shade however from my research this should be a good match for me okay so this foundation actually comes in 19 shades most of which are melanin friendly that was actually really nice to see because if we're keeping it a buck 50 a lot of these brands have um, 50 shades of beige and then they have a handful of melanin friendly shades so we love to see we love to see it so this foundation is full coverage and you know we love full coverage on this channel baby because hyperpigmentation also full full cover foundation is also perfect for glam that's just what I think. Okay, so according to the website, this foundation has a velvety finish and it's perfect for all skin types. It also has Shade ID technology which uses multicolored chromatic pigments to adjust to your unique skin tone and neutralize imperfections for a flawless finish. Hmm. Okay, cool. So that sounds great. Now let us check it out, try it on the skin, see what it's about. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Oh. There we go. And okay. Look at that. It looks really good, but also looks a little oily. I don't know if that's oil or what, but you guys saw that. Anyway, I'm gonna wind it down a little so we can apply the foundation. I'm gonna start on my hyperpigmented. Wow. Wow, I don't know, the side with hyperpigmentation. So we can test if it's really full coverage. <sighs> Yo, this is definitely full coverage. Like, she was just like, I got you. Let me, let, let me just cover it up real quick. So yeah, as you can see, mm -hmm. and the shade, I think it could actually be the right shade uh let's just get into a child so i guess i'm just gonna apply more um on my face i don't know how much i should put because i'm used to using liquid foundation so i don't know but you know i'm just gonna go ham i'm just gonna do what makes me happy i look crazy I look like a warrior going to war. <laughs> oh no, going to battle. I'm sure this is enough shame. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to blend that out using my flat foundation brush. Um, let's see how that goes. Okay, so this is actually not hard to move around as you can see I've only just like Blended it in for like a few seconds, but it's actually like Blending in really good, which is nice. So hmm. Okay, so as you can see I've blended it's looking nice and you know Clean. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a beauty sponge and I'm just going to blend that with a damp beauty sponge just to finish this. Okay, so step two is done. We're looking flawless. We're looking good. We're looking really amazing. Um, also, can I just say that I actually am so impressed with this foundation. I've never used any Black Opal products before, but I know like there's a time in Zim when everyone was just like all about Black Opal and I understand the hype now. Five out of five would recommend. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you for the gel primer. Love it. Five out of five recommend. I like that it's not centered. The packaging is cute. Everything's cute. Yeah absolutely love it five out of five foundation five out of five it also isn't scented and i love that for myself so yeah five out of five let's move on now to step three so step three is a combo deal just like step one this is highlight and contour you cannot highlight your face and not contour you cannot contour your face and not highlight don't fight me, don't argue me on this. If you want a flawless base, baby, follow instructions. <laughs> so, to highlight, place your concealer in the following places. Okay, so along the side of your nose, like so, and then 
the corner of your eye like so I also like to get my chin and then of course repeat okay the other thing that I like to do is I like to just mix it with a concealer that's a lighter shade so I just place that on top like so and make a cocktail for myself I'm feeling a really bright under eye today I'm just feeling yeah <laughs> so there we go this is the first part of highlighting and of course again I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and blend that in Okay, do you see that blend? Mm. I love that this Black Opal foundation is actually blending in nicely with other products. Love to see it. So now we're going in with the contour. Okay, so step three is complete. We're looking good. Face is coming together. Do you see how flawless it looks and we're not even done yet? follow my tips regardless of whatever product so as you can see I'm not using high-end but I look amazing so now we're gonna move on to step number four which is to set everything that we just did okay so for this step we're actually going to use another black opal product so Renaco connect said we're not gonna give you one we're not gonna give you two but we're giving you three products for you to actually test out and you know Make your pick, decide, find out, know some knowledge, know if it's good. So for this step, of course, we're going to be setting and we're going in with the Black Opal True Color Soft Velvet Finishing Powder. And this is the shade Neutral Light. I wanted something light, so you know, this seemed to be the lightest color that they had in store. And this is what it looks like. So on top, it has the B, the Black Opal B. Can you see that? And then, of course, the logo. Cool. And then, we have the powder itself. So I'm just gonna pour some into this um, lid. So it's clearly not a translucent powder. Um, in that it's not like white however we are going to use it just the same so i'm just going to use it to set um you know everything everything okay so some um thoughts to begin with first of all it's not scented love that but then um it's like sitting like I can see where I first powdered my face. I, I don't know if I'm being paranoid, but I feel like this powder requires effort to blend. Like I can't just put it on my face and expect everything to be okay. So if you're someone who likes to bake, don't use this because I think it might just like sit and not move. Because yeah, I've really had to blend. Yeah, yeah, it requires a bit of a blend. And I guess for that, I'll give it a four out of five definitely four out of five because i don't like to struggle you guys know this what am i struggling for Whew. yeah it definitely takes effort to blend so yeah obviously it's you know you can still get things done as you can see i'm getting things done i just don't like the effort that i'm putting in to blend like so yeah blending was definitely something that I had to put effort into which I don't usually have to do so I didn't really enjoy that part of this powder but yeah I think I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 5 because that's my only problem with it it actually looks really good even though it's not translucent so you know black opal you guys are trying okay let me not lie you guys are doing great however this powder should be a bit more blendable in terms of i don't want to fight <laughs> i don't want to fight i just want to boom 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 keep it moving 
Okay, so this next step is a bonus step. It's not, you know, required, but obviously I'm about to do it. So, you know, let me just put you on, okay? Blush. You need blush in your life. Um, like I said, it's not necessary if you don't want to look like, you know, a clown or whatever else you think it might make you look like, don't do it. But I love blush. I love it. Like, look at that. It's just brought some color back into my face. I'm just looking mm, rosy. Love it. Anyway, that was just, you know, an extra tip. But yeah. So now we're going to move on to the final step. Okay, so as you can see, we're looking flawless. We're looking good. And we're not even done. But you see, I'm putting you on. I'm putting you on. These steps are foolproof. Everyone can do them. So the last step that we have is setting spray. I always say be generous with your setting spray. The more the better. <laughs> mm. And of course we're gonna let it dry. Okay, so as you can see, my setting spray is dry and my base, flawless 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 okay like do you see this do you see this do you see this don't tell me that i didn't plug you because i did so just to recap everything that we did first you need to prepare your skin <sighs> prepare your skin literally everything you do from the beginning until the end is going to result in this beauty okay <laughs> so prep your skin and obviously prepping your skin means moisturize and prime the second thing is of course applying your foundation. Third, you highlight and contour. Fourth, you set everything with your setting powder. And fifth, you seal everything together with your setting spray. Those are your five steps. Obviously, I threw in a little bonus with blush because it's so low-key, but like it adds a nice vibe. So you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> but on a very serious note, like I'm actually really impressed with how these Black Opal products performed, like everything from the primer to the foundation to the powder. Even though we had a little hiccup blending the powder, as you can see, like everything actually comes together really, really well. So I'm just like, okay, girl. So yeah, honestly, hmm, absolutely recommend, absolutely recommend these products. But obviously, like I said with the powder, remember to be mindful of that powder child just be mindful okay anyway this was so amazing i'm so happy i got to work with renako connect again to bring you some fire tips and some fire reviews be sure to check out their website i have left a link down below be sure to also check out these products again i've left links down below go get yourself some okay don't say i didn't plug you because i did <laughs> anyway thank you so much for tuning in today i will catch you again very very soon remember to comment like and subscribe